While football is played in the fall, nearly every program will tell you that the season really begins in the spring. With each season brings change and perhaps no team has gone through more change in the Big Sky Conference than the defending Big Sky champion Southern Utah Thunderbirds. The Thunderbirds have a new head coach, a new starting quarterback, and will replace a trio of highly talented defensive stars who are likely headed for professional stardom. However, the Thunderbirds feel in 2016 they can continue an upward climb as they try to become a consistently great program in the Big Sky Conference. The challenge for the Thunderbirds in 2016 is maintaining the hardworking, blue-collar culture the program adopted under former head coach Ed Lamb. One of Lamb's primary weapons in building that culture was then-defensive coordinator Demario Warren, now the program's head coach. Warren said the transition has been minimal to this point, thanks to players being familiar with him. I mean, I've had those relationships you know, for the last yeah. three or four years, depending how long I've been in the program, so that definitely helped. But uh, it's, it's a transition. It's, yeah. it's a little different. It's a different personality at, at the helm. And so um, I think they're, they're getting used to it and they're having some fun now. And, uh, it's, it's been a great, it's been a blast the first eight practices. Change is a beautiful part of life. It's a beautiful part of education, and it's a beautiful part of football. Every spring, there's change that comes with the program. Now, while Southern Utah has gone through a lot of change with its football program this offseason, there's still a lot to build around, specifically on offense. The Thunderbirds returned several star players, including all Big Sky wideout Mike Sharp, Sharp caught 54 passes for 889 yards and 13 touchdowns in 2015, and he said he believes the Thunderbirds will have a more than efficient offensive attack in 2016. My expectation, I think, is the same for my individual expectation. I think my expectation is start off where we we'll left off against Sam Houston and get better from here on out. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of tough because we don't have everybody, a lot of key players. I mean, one key player is Hammond. You know, mm -hmm. quarterback position yeah, is going to yeah. be a big part of that. So we're going to have to go off of what we got, and I, I like what we got. I like the, the competition we have between the two QBs right now. So just, just start off where we ended last year and we can get better is my expectation. Welcome inside the Southern Utah football locker room. Defense was one of the main reasons why Southern Utah has a Big Sky Conference Championship trophy in its locker room, as the Thunderbirds were one of the best defenses in the league in 2015. However, in spite of graduating several all-star players, the Thunderbirds have a chance to be a great defense once again in 2016, and it starts with some of the great players they have on their roster. Players like Mike Needham played significant roles in the league's toughest defense in 2015, with Needham making 95 tackles and returning multiple turnovers for touchdowns. Needham, who's one of the team's upperclassmen leaders now, said the team is still more than capable of continuing a recent tradition of strong defense. Come back from what we did last year, we don't want to uh, regress at all. We want to keep progressing and doing, doing what we can. Uh, we went a few months without a strength and, strength and conditioning coach but about, I think, three weeks ago we finally got one, and it's been awesome having, having a coach there to put some demand in the weight room. Even with so much change in Cedar City, there's still a strong nucleus of players in the Southern Utah program, with touted newcomers like transfer quarterback McCoy Hill. But still, it's tough to know what to expect with so many changes happening in 2016. However, Coach Warren believes the expectations for the T-Birds this upcoming season are to continue to build on the program's recent success. Consistency is the biggest thing that we want to get done. Uh, we've had some up years, we've had some down years, but we haven't been able to, to get back to back successful seasons. And so consistency is a big thing. I think having those high expectations and making sure we demand that after successful year is the biggest challenge for us. And we haven't been able to do it here. So it's a, it's a challenge for me, the staff, and the players uh, trying, to get, trying to get this program to be consistent, whether it be Michigan, the Mets, and Michigan, Washington, Montana, Montana State, those teams that do it year in year out. The Thunderbirds will close spring practice on April 16th when they have their annual red and white spring game. They open the season September 1st against the Pac-12's University of Utah in Salt Lake City. While things have changed for the Thunderbirds this offseason, the expectation for 2016 has been. The expectation is to win another Big Sky title and to qualify for the playoffs and get an even deeper run in the 2016 FCS postseason. With the Big Sky Camp Report in Cedar City, Utah with the Thunderbirds, I'm John Oglesby.